One last question, Jim. Will you disavow and denounce Antifa? I'm so sorry. We really uh, are. Yeah, we already talked to you. Yeah. Well, I'm asking. Uh, you're just so handsome. I can't get away from you, Jim. Will you denounce Antifa by name? Will you denounce Antifa by name? The violence. Denounce their violence. BLM and Antifa. Of course. Specifically, you like to talk about Trump supporter and their violence. Why don't you talk about the Democrat violence? Do you guys know where they put the golden Trump? Why are you obsessed with him? Uh, uh, I you don't ever stop thinking about him, do you? Jim Acosta here in his natural habitat. I'm surprised he doesn't have a two mask on, but he does have the KN95. But let me ask you this. He gave a speech that led to a violent insurrection at the Capitol. Shouldn't he just... Now, I'm going to allow you to say that, but it's not true. Isn't that true? I'm going to allow you he to say that. He gave a speech, and then there was a violent insurrection at the Capitol. How is that not true? You simply don't know what you're talking about. How is that... What do you mean? Well, you should look at the timeline of when things happen. But if you believe somebody used inappropriate words to spur violence, and you can't come up with the words, then you're making stuff up. And you should stop doing that. I'm not doing it. Liz Cheney did it. Mitch McConnell did it. Look, Kevin wanna, McCarthy if, did it. They did it. They you, said it. If you want to highlight the handful of Republicans who voted for impeachment or for conviction, it's certainly your right. This is the First Amendment. You can pursue anything you want. You can't make up. You can't say there was some intent in someone's brain that they never said in words, and that resulted in some kind of violence. Give me the words, and then I have to deal with the fact that maybe somebody I like did something that I don't agree with. One but when you make it up, one give last, me one word they said. Let, let me ask one you one, la let me ask you one, one last final question. One single word. Let me ask you one last final question. Can you, you give concerned? me one word? Isn't this the big lie conference? Isn't That's this what the Nazis used to say, Jim, you're better than that. You're better than that. You're, you're, comparing, you're, you're comparing, comparing me to a no, I'm not. I'm yes, saying this are. is the big lie conference. No. The big lie is your beliefs. I love you, man. I'm right. glad Do you feel responsible at all I'm for any of the BLM here. riots? You're just wrong. You're just woefully wrong. And the disinformation that CNN wrong. ran, do you feel responsible? All right. Thanks, Matt. Do you feel responsible at all for the lies you told about the BLM riots? I, have a nice day. I, you don't feel I responsible? I was in Georgia. I was investigating, I, and I know... Why aren't you double asking? You don't want to hear the truth. Why aren't you social distancing, Jim? I'm not going to talk if you're not going to wear a mask. Okay, fine. Sorry. I was in Georgia, and I do you feel for responsible back. for the I riots, for the BLM riots, the murder? Why don't, why don't you put a mask on? Why don't you put a mask on? Do you think some of the Democrat members of Congress who incited or promoted some of the G BLM riots should they be held responsible as well? I don't know that they did. I don't. Should, you should your network be held responsible for lying and, and inciting these BLM riots? If conservatives are responsible, if Trump is responsible for January, you don't agree with it. I don't agree. No. Why? Why? Why didn't it? We, we had to get so yeah. So your lies didn't contribute to that at all? Sure. Yeah. Sure. What do you want to get away for? It's a little blurry. Okay. CNN sucks. CNN sucks. Can you disavow the BLM riots? Jim, will you disavow the riots and the murdering that BLM did? All violence, for sure. No on, on BLM side. I'm so sorry. We really don't have touch me. I'm so sorry. Don't, don't touch me, though. Thank don't touch you. me. Specifically, disavow BLM riots. We really I see, I see you got a big fan. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about? I mean, let me ask you a question. No, Chris Cuomo said protesters don't have to be peaceful. Yeah. They let that run on his network saying that po Say protests no don't have to be peaceful. The problem is what forced your fellow citizens to take to the streets. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. When are you gonna start covering it, Jim? So, when is anyway, CNN gonna deal with Cuomo? We are covering it. I don't no, know you're not. You're no, about. you're not. I, you're I, not. Well, you're not. Okay, we agree to disagree. You can no, watch, our, you can watch our channel and see that we're covering it. it. I, I'm sorry, but well, I'm here to do a job. About, what, what, so. what do you think about it? What do you have to say about Cuomo? I'm here to do a job right now. Oh, I'm not uh, here uh, to talk to you. You have plenty to say about Trump. Nothing to say about Cuomo? I'm here to do a job. What do you have to say about Cuomo? Nothing? Nothing, right? You have nothing to say about Andrew Cuomo. Story we're covering it. We're covering it. I don't know what... We keep talking okay. about the Let big lie, but you keep it. saying that Trump. Trump. He's talking with you that, He's that, talking with this Tom, You're the cameraman. Stop. No, I'm not. It's just so funny. You talk about the big lie from CNN. How ironic is that? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Can you guys move it back a little bit, please? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just trying to figure. It, it, do you think it's healthy for the president to come here and continue to claim that he won the election 
when he didn't. There's no point in trying to talk to him. He keeps talking. He keeps accusing other people of a big lie. He's already assumed what President Trump is going to be talking about when he comes here on Sunday. He has no idea what President Trump is going to talk about, but he's so consumed by him. His network, CNN, is so consumed by what President Trump is doing, he's already made it up in his head what he's going to say. He's not going to give him, he's not going to give him any chance to even speak. It's just so ironic that he keeps saying Donald Trump inspired January 6th. He's from CNN. He keeps talking about the big lie. They lie all the time about Trump, about Trump supporters, and they lie about a peaceful protest, mostly fiery, but pretty peaceful. That, that's him. One last question, Jim. Will you disavow and denounce Antifa? I'm so sorry. We really uh, are. Yeah, well, I already talked to you. Yeah, well, I'm asking, uh, you're just so handsome, I can't get away from you, Jim. Will you denounce Antifa by name? Will you denounce Antifa by name? The violence. Denounce their violence. BLM and Antifa. Of course. Specifically, you like to talk about Trump supporter and their violence. Why don't you talk about the Democrat violence? But ma'am, I but ma'am, I've already spoken to you. I'm sorry. Antifa. Here, I'll put on I'll put on the COVID barrier. We're trying to do our job, and, really and so am I. So leave me alone. Leave me. You just keep where, walking. You guys know where they put the golden Trump? Do you guys know where they put the golden Trump? Why are you obsessed with him? I, I, I you don't ever stop thinking about him, do you? That is admitted to want to destroy the United States as it is. Why is this so hard for you? I, sir, I, I don't. I, he doesn't know. Say it, Jim. Of course he doesn't. Antifa's I already answered Jim. your questions, but I, I, no, I appreciate it. We all denounced him on sure. January 6th. So How about you, you denounce what Antifa did all summer, Jim? United States, you won't do it. Jim, I wish you all the best. Your part in dividing this country, Jim. Yeah. What's your part in that? What's your part in all that fake I news and your I Russian collusion that you went on with about three years, I Jim? All, I wish you all the all best. All that evidence that you had, Jim. Where did it show up? When did it show up? What's your part in what happened on January 6th? We all denounced it. I love you, Caitlin. You're the best. You don't care about us. Have a good day, Jim. We love you. And you know, I just want to, I just want to point out too. I want to point out too. Jim is not serious about this. He sits on CNN and he peddles all this stuff about the coronavirus and wearing masks. If he thought it was serious, he wouldn't be here right now. He's not even wearing two masks. I'm just pointing it out. He's not double masking, okay? He's not double masking. These people are a joke. They want you to stay inside. They want to be able to go out and do whatever they want. Why is he in Florida? Why is he in Florida right now if this is just a coronavirus epicenter? Why is he here? To watch the full uncensored version of that video, including some spicy clips that we cannot show you here on YouTube and Facebook, go to libertyhangout.tv, sign up, support my work. You will not regret watching the full uncensored version of what just happened. As promised, guys, we are back out here on the road bringing you awesome content. But in order to be able to do this, I need you to support me at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. For just $5 a month, you can gain access to my private Facebook group where you and I can talk one-on-one -on -one and we can meet like-minded people. Patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. Thank you, guys. Go to libertyhangout.tv right now to watch Caitlin Bennett uncensored. Not only will you get to watch exclusive content from me, but you'll get to say you stood for the truth, you stood against radical leftism, and you stood up for America.